Now to simplify this and not use micropoly, let's go out of edit mode, hit control N to clear our canvas. Let's grab a plain 3D, drag it on our canvas, go into edit mode, make poly mesh 3D. So now again we just have a single sided mesh. Let's turn on poly frame and we'll go back here to sketch shaded 2. And again, if I turn off gravity, turn off floor collision, if we turn on our floor here, you see there's our floor plane, and I turn on inflate, inflate just pushes along the surface normals. So if I run simulation with inflate, it's just going to go straight because all of these surface normals are pointing straight out from the surface. However, if I go down here, turn on dynamic, turn smooth subdiv down to zero, add some thickness, if I run it now, it's still going to push along because this isn't real geometry. But if I hit apply so that it is real geometry, now when I inflate, it'll push against itself and turn into a pillow. So now if I go up here and I turn floor collision back on, hit BTC to go to my transpose cloth and then push this against the floor, now you're going to see it's going to update that geometry. and go through here and I can squeeze this in in all directions. I can push it against the floor and I can also add subdivisions levels. So you're going to see this low res geometry is going to give me very broad primary and secondary reads. I can go in here to dynamic, turn thickness down to zero, turn smooth subdiv up to one, and we'll go back here to startup material. So this will give us, let's do smooth subdiv of two. Uh, it looks smoother but we're still, and let's go ahead and turn off inflate, we're still only getting big wrinkles because in reality, we just have very large geometry giving us big wrinkles. If we hit control D or hit this divide button, now we have more geometry. You can see up here, we're at 8,000 polygons instead of 2,000. So if I go up to southern level two and do anything with cloth, if I push this down, you're gonna see I'm gonna get smaller wrinkles. And we can even put on top of subdivision level two, more subdivisions. So as I'm doing this, you still get a preview of what it would look like as it smooths. And if I hit control D one more time, you're gonna see we're gonna get even smaller wrinkles. And in fact, if I hit Q to go into draw mode and do B, C, S, cloth pinch trails, and I use this one, I get this resolution. If I hit control D one more time, now we're up to 139,000. You're going to see I get a much finer result. Now you do need to be a little bit careful. You're going to see our max simulation points is set to 250. So if I hit control D one more time, now I'm at half a million. And if I try to use this brush again, it's going to go crazy and it's going to say, it's going to do this and it's going to say mesh density is higher than the specified max simulation points. So you can either turn this up or you can make sure you stay low enough. Now, generally speaking, you don't need to go super high. Usually this is okay. Let's go ahead and do, and do all that. We'll go ahead and hit divide one more time. So again, we're at 139,000 active points and we'll turn smooth subdiv down to zero. And you get a pretty responsive brush. So speaking of, you're gonna see on brushed is turned on and that's gonna put a radius around your brush. So you're gonna see right around this brush, it's only simulating out that far. If I turn on brushed off, it's gonna simulate the entire object and it's gonna slow down performance a little bit because it's having to evaluate the entire object as you're brushing. So on brushed usually makes your brush run a little bit faster and if you want to, you can crank this fade border up to get a smoother fall off. Now next to on brushed, you're gonna see on masked. And this one's interesting. So let's go out of edit mode. Let's hit control N to clear our canvas. And, and again, we'll just grab a plane, drag it out, edit mode, make poly mesh 3D, turn on poly frame here. Let's go down here to geometry, dynamic. I guess we'll turn smooth subdiv to one and then we'll throw some thickness on this plane so we can see it a little bit better. And we'll make the skin shader four. So if I hit W and we're in brush transpose cloth BTC and I move this down, it'll go ahead and just wrinkle this object together. And we have self collision set to one. So it's aware of the floor and itself. And if I go through here and I masked out a corner and I run a simulation, 
with gravity turned on, you're going to see it's going to mask this corner and pin it, and then the rest of the cloth is going to fall as you would expect. It's only going to simulate what's not masked. However, if you choose unmasked, so let's go ahead and mask this entire top portion here and say unmasked. So now if I hit W, we'll go ahead and go and set our pivot here. Just hold down Alt and move this, or you can just Alt tap on our object here. And as you move this around, you're going to see only the masked portion is going to simulate. So we're moving everything that's unmasked and the masked portion up here is the only thing that's simulating. So what you can do is you can mask out a little portion. Let's control tap that. And now this portion up here, because we have on masked on, is going to be unsimulated and the rest of this is going to be simulated. So what this is going to allow us to do is take this unsimulated portion. We can just move this around. And in fact, let's turn off our floor collision so we can actually take this and then roll it around itself and we're using the unmasked portion to drive the rest of the masked portion here. So if I control drag to unmask, and we'll go ahead and turn off on mask now because we have the entire object here. And let's go to BTR, back to regular transpose, and we'll just move this up and kind of roll this around. So now if I have gravity turned on and floor collision back on and I hit run simulation, it'll drop that right down to the floor. And again, if we want, we can turn on smooth subdiv, make sure self collision is up, run simulation, and now it'll go ahead and run the simulation.